your story about how you I know your story but some people don't okay how I got where I am yes okay so the genealogy of my career is you can trace it all the way back to my high school English teacher he told all of us graduating seniors that the best thing we could do when we got to college was find a professor who was researching something we were interested in and get involved so I walked onto BYU campus. I was interested in DNA and genetics, and I asked. But how did you know oh, you were interested in that? Okay, well then we can we can take it to my high school <laughs> biotechnology teacher. So in high school, my biology teacher was so forward thinking that he went to a local laboratory and was like, "Hey, how can I give these kids some online some on hands experience?" And he brought like actual pipettes. We um, extracted DNA from a strawberry. Like we did amazing stuff. And then we sponsored my my year, my senior year, we sponsored the first biotechnology day in our um, small community. And we invited local high schools to come and we hosted and everybody was able to um, do this really cool like biotechnology experiment mm -hmm. that nobody had ever done before. And at my high school, now 25 years later, they're still holding biotechnology day and our class was one that started And you it. started it? Yeah. Wow. So it was really this combination of my high school English teacher saying, go get involved right away and my biology class saying hey this was actually really fun and interesting and you might want to do this right and so were you always into genealogy or is no. that no 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 so i did the dna first yeah and the first dna stuff we did was the dna of ancient egyptian mummies and so what it turned out to be was that we were able to tell how um the burials the people who were buried together were related to each other, but then there was no big database to see who these people were. And so right. my professor, Dr. Scott Woodward, it was his vision to figure out how we could create a global database. And so then local Utah philanthropist, uh, James Sorensen, got on board with the funding, mm -hmm. and the first genetic genealogy database was born, the Sorensen Molecular Genealogy Foundation. Yeah. I think my dad's DNA was in that. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's really incredible how it just started so small and then it has grown into an entire industry. So of all the DNA tools, what's, whatever, any place, what's the one that you think is the best? The best DNA tool, hands down, is the shared matches tool. It's yeah. available at every company. It's so powerful in helping you group your matches. I say all the time it's the only tool you'll ever need. Okay. And what about what some of the newer innovations, uh, like the Pro Tools even, where you can see how they're related, not just to you, but to everybody else? Right. Yeah. So, so the Pro Tools, the shared matches of matches that's yeah. called available through Pro Tools at Ancestry, but it's available at MyHeritage, it's yeah. available at 23andMe, yeah, that's true too. Yeah. and Family Treating Day has a version of it as well. It's really just the shared matches tool on steroids, which means I love it even more. Right, right.